Happy 2016 is the version that you have installed. Click enter. Launch lab view. Click on file, create project. Select blank project and click on finish. This window is called the project explorer. Save your project, file, save. On the desktop, create a new folder. We'll name the project as Arduino project and click OK. You'll see that the untitled project name has been renamed to Arduino project. Now click on file, new VI. Every program in LabVIEW is called a VI. It ends with an extension dot VI. Click on new VI. You'll see two windows opening. The first one is the front panel and the second one is the block diagram. The VI has two main parts, the front panel and the block diagram. Click on window, tile left and right. So that on the left is front panel and on the right is block diagram. Front panel will usually house all kinds of numeric controls, knobs, dials, meters, gauge, boolean, buttons, LED, graphs, charts, indicators. The block diagram will have all programming tools, structures, numeric functions like addition, subtraction, boolean functions, string operations and all operations related to programming. Now what we have to start with is right click on the block diagram, scroll down to Arduino, let's spin this tab right click Arduino and we just spin the tab We will require four major functions for this particular program to control LED. Initialization, which is nothing but init. Close. Click on low, low level. In the Arduino program, you'll see that the first thing that we do here is declaring our pin mode. We'll have to do the same function in LabVIEW as well. Set digital pin mode and then the function is digital write. So we'll select another function digital write. Now this is sufficient to know what each of these functions do or what each of these blocks do. Click on it and press on the question mark on the right corner which is called as context help. Context help will explain what each of these blocks do and what has to be connected to each of these terminals. This is set digital pin mode, digital write pin, close. So initialization, the first option is visa resource that is where you specify which communication port your Arduino is connected to, like how you specify on your Arduino, Arduino Uno on COM15. Second, you specify the baud rate. Whatever is in bracket is by default, so you don't have to specify it again. Board type Uno, we're not changing it because the board that we're using is Arduino Uno. The other things remain the same. 
the connection type is USB to serial if you see the Arduino is connected through the USB port so we don't change that as well the next option Arduino resource the Arduino resource from init will get connected to the Arduino resource on set digital pin mode and the path continues the error out from initialization block will move to the error in of the set digital pin mode and that error out will get connected to the next one and that will get connected to the next one so everything is in series because we would want the program to happen in series first set digital pin mode and then write and once the program is completed we'll have to close it so to start with right click on visa resource you'll see that there's a blink as in when you point the mouse over the terminal right click create constant it shows IO it says visa resource click on the arrow mark and select COM15 so once this is done wire the Arduino resource to the Arduino resource on the next one this this and the error out from the initialization goes to the error in of set digital pin mode this error out goes to error in here and error out to this digital IO pin we will have to specify which pin we are using similar to how we specify pin number LED 13 on the Arduino board we have to specify which pin has to be controlled digital IO pin right click create constant this will be pin number 13 pin mode right click create constant we'll have to specify the pin mode as input or output in this case it is output so this is what it would be okay. now here I'll have to select the same pin digital IO pin instead of uh, creating another constant I will wire it to the same pin here value 0 by default 0 stands for low and 1 stands for high right click create constant I will make it 1 is there anything else that's left one important thing that we have left out in this program is the loop void loop the loop which will ensure that the LED blinks here we are not blinking the LED we are just turning on the LED so this loop right click go to programming structures while loop drag and drop the while loop across digital write block now we are ready to run the program when you click on the run button we see that there is an error which says conditional terminal is not wired the conditional terminal is not wired to anything must be wired to a boolean data source such as button that is a result of comparison so we'll right click create a control so that we can stop the loop when and as and when it is required so this stop you'll find that it is on the front panel we'll just make it a little bigger And we are ready to run the program but before that we'll save it you see that the Arduino program is saved and the same gets updated on the project explorer as well now I'll click on run at the same time 
you'll see the Arduino board. I clicked on run. The LED is not connected to pin number 13. So I will connect the LED to pin number 13. And the LED glows. To stop the program, do not click on this button. This is about execution. Show front panel and stop the VI. In this case, the LED will remain in its previous state. So what we have to do, is to change the value from 1 to 0 and now run the program again. You will see that the LED turned off. Every time I have to change this value, I have to stop the program and then change it because my block diagram or the code is not accessible when the program is running. I cannot do anything here. None of these things. So I have to stop the code, I have to change the value and then run the program. Suppose I would want this to be controlled in real time, I will right click and change it from a constant to a control. Right click, change to control. So you'll see that the value is here. I'll rename it to be LED state. And now I'll run the program. One is high, it's on. Zero is off. One is on and zero is off. So once the program is done, you now stop the program. So this program will help you to control the LED in real time. We will save this program. This is the first program that you will have to design. And once you're done with this program, we will conduct the next session. Thank you.